Gandhiji is counted among the great teachers who are able to shape their own minds and actor Mayuri Naidu has embraced the mental self-discipline that the Mahatma advocated. This made Satyagraha House an ideal venue for Mayuri and Karishma to spend some time catching up and they found they were caught up in the spirit of the place. Mahatma Gandhi once said that outward peace is useless without inner peace, sentiments that I share. And as a result, I'm always on the lookout for settings conducive to cultivating inner peace. And I would be hard pressed to find a more peaceful setting in Johannesburg than Satyagraha House. Satyagraha is a term coined by Gandhiji from the Sanskrit Satya meaning truth and Agraha meaning holding to or polite insistence. Welcome Karishma to Satyagraha House. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Please, here's our welcome tea that we offer to all our guests who come to the house. So this afternoon for the lunch, we also have a treat for you where you'll be enjoying your lunch with some tea pairing. Sounds wonderful. The original house was built in 1907 by Gandhiji's friend Herman Kallenbach and the Mahatma lived here from 1908 to 1909. Oh, wow, this is so beautiful. All our rooms are named after Gandhi's friends and family, which you will see as we go around. And the room is called Sonia. I love that. So I will leave you to freshen up and then you can meet me in the garden. I can take a walk with you through the house. That sounds perfect. Thank you so much. Inspired by a traditional kraal, two rondavos form the core of the house and artifacts and artwork help to fill the space with the spiritual presence of its iconic former resident. Someone else who shares my love for peaceful settings filled with culture is Mayuri Naidu. We've needed a long overdue catch-up, so I've invited her to join me as we explore this exquisitely soulful setting. But while I wait for her, I'm going to take a look around. So Karishma, this is our lounge area with a library of our books, but I'd like to show you our dining area. And of course, it has a special room just above it. We have the loft where Gandhi stayed and it was Gandhi's room. And he used to access the loft going up and down using a detachable staircase. So he did a lot of his meditation and reading and writing from up there, which we now use as part of our meditation room. So I'd like to take you through into the lounge area where you'll be enjoying your breakfast. Please come through. So Karishma, here's your guest and I will leave you guys to enjoy your breakfast. Okay. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. Bye Yuri! Hello Karishma. Welcome, you're just in time for breakfast. Come yeah. through. This is some beautiful homemade bread. The smell has been killing me wafting in from the kitchen all morning. Look at that. Oh, wow. Please have a piece. Okay. <laughs> Now, you're, you're a KZN girl like me. How have you adjusted to living in Johannesburg and what do you love about it? Honestly, my sister's been here for 18 years and she told me oh, I could never move back to Durban. I was like, don't talk nonsense. I mean, Durban's home. But I've adjusted so well, I think, to the lifestyle that I'm actually really happy here and I don't think I could move back to Durban either. It's weird. I don't know about you, but I'm dying to learn more about this beautiful place. So let's finish our breakfast. Yes, please, that sounds great. Having enjoyed the coffee and toast, Karishma and Mayuri move to the meditation room. The sound of the bell fades away. Meditation was an essential part of the Mahatma's life and he once said that when facing an especially busy day, he would have to meditate for two hours instead of one. Now, open your eyes and try and take this mindfulness with you throughout the day. Oh, I'm feeling sleepy. Oh, no, 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 we cannot have that. We still have a busy day ahead of us. And you know what? It actually looks like the most perfect setting for some yoga outside. So should we go get into our yoga gear? Okay. Gandhiji set great store by self-discipline and Karishma and Mayuri followed his example by focusing on the execution of the asanas. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, place the palms, step the right. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, stepping the right. And the left leg forward. Inhale, arms up. 
palms down. Well, I've worked up quite an appetite. Me too. Lunch? Yes, please. Let's go. <laughs> Enjoy the meal. Thank you so much, Arato. Mm, that really is so good. I love trying new things and food to different places. I hear you also somewhat of a foodie. I am. I love eating. I love watching people eat. I love eating while people are eating. It's just my thing. I love trying new things. I'm quite adventurous with my food. Oh, I like to think so. Do you cook as well? I do cook. I think it's a very creative thing to just cook and add ingredients and just try your own thing and see what happens. What are you currently working on? Well, I just finished a little stint with Generations and I'm currently on a telenovela called Broken Vows. And Karishma, I'm really excited because I just received funding from the KZN Film Commission to produce a documentary about the spices from India and the root and how it's evolved um, and how it came down with the endangered labourers and how we use it now. It's like uh, cuisine is the heart of our Indian South African experience, uh, focused on Durban. And I'm very excited about that because there are other parallel stories. There's a bit of a love story, there's a bit of a spirituality aspect. So I'm really looking forward to that. This looks so colourful. In line with Gandhiji's personal preferences, Satyagraha House offers a fully vegetarian menu. This doesn't imply that the meals are austere. And the ladies felt they'd earned a little indulgence for dessert. Wow, that's so beautiful. This tea is so special for us because it's a specialty uh, Satyagraha signature. And we do serve tea with all our meals because Gandhi used to be a big drinker of tea. And everything we do in the house goes with the Gandhi spirit. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Mayuri, I have one more surprise for us and I think it's the perfect end to our beautiful day together. I've booked us both a massage. I will cut you to the street light with this. I pass on divine blessings for healing to take place. was absolutely incredible, mm -hmm. exactly what I needed. Yeah, me too. Mayuri, what is your philosophy on life? I think it's just to find your purpose, to live it with grace and kindness and empathy for others. It's just important that whatever your journey is, you do it with an awareness of paying it forward. Any advice for young actresses out there? I think work hard, be mindful, uh, and find balance because if you're not careful, the industry can, you can get caught up in a lot of the not so great stuff and the superficial stuff. And it's important to have a balance in your life and a strong support system and someone to ground you and make you aware that there's more to life than just this. And love. In physical terms, Gandhiji left South Africa in 1914, but more than a century after his departure, his example and teachings remain powerfully present both within Satyagraha House and far beyond its walls. <laughs>